What Do We Do? A podcast discussing wealth management and financial planning. Introducing listeners to the leaders in our community. Hosted by the founder and CEO of Great Lakes Wealth, Dewey Steffen. Alongside WWJ Midday News anchor, Brooke Allen. Hey, I'm Brooke Allen. Our goal with the What Do We Do podcast is to educate listeners on topics that impact your financial growth, your retirement, and your lifestyle. And I'm Dewey Steffen. Join us twice a month as we welcome some of today's leaders in the community for conversations that can help with investment decisions so you can plan for and live your best life. Here's Dewey Steffen alongside Brooke Allen. Hey, I'm Brooke Allen. Thank you so much for being with us on the What Do We Do podcast. Of course, this is season two, episode 19, number 61. And, you know, we've come such a long ways. And by that, I mean, we've gotten over 30,000 likes and downloads. And it's been amazing. And Dewey, it's been uh, so amazing to be with you uh, during this this season. Brooke, season two, we're in the middle of it. 30,000 downloads, uh, 10 plus guests amazing guests, leaders in our community, and we're just getting started. Yeah, it's been, you know, the guests that we've had have been amazing, and of course, the the insight that we try to give, right? I mean, we, we're we doing this because we want people to know things, right? Not just us, but they we want them to learn something from us, and especially from you during this whole issue of uh, inflation at its highest, right? Gas prices and interest rates, everything going on. So kind of give me your take on everything that's happening right now. Yeah, as Confucius say, may you live in interesting times. <laughs> and okay. that we do, right? That we do. So with that, uh, what do we do? Mm-hmm. And this podcast was born out of COVID. And what do we do to not just survive, but thrive through COVID? Because that was unprecedented and interesting times. Well, this is interesting mm-hmm. times. Uh, rising interest rates, uh, super uh, aggressive inflation. There's full employment, the great resignation. There's global tensions and issues. And that just touches the surface of what is going on. And as we talk about, again, the guests we've had, the leaders in the community that are able to share their insight, their knowledge, that just makes our community amazing, it makes our community stronger, and we're happy to be um, you know, just an outlet and a conduit for those conversations and for that information. And Brooke, as we say, you know, the mission of the What Do We Do podcast is to provide information to help our community invest for success and be healthy, wealthy, and wise. And so we really want to thank our YouTube viewers, our podcast listeners out there in Podcast Nation, YouTube land. Without you, we have nothing. Correct. So please subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your neighbors, share it with your children. Um, The more that we can have uh, participation, the more that we can continue on with what we think is great work. And we're so excited uh, for the past guests that we've had on. Mm -hmm. And we have some amazing guests coming up. So today, you're all just stuck with Brooke and I. (laughs) Brooke, you're amazing. You're stuck (laughs) all with me, okay? (laughs) So You're not too bad. (laughs) Anyway, so let's, uh, yeah, what are we going to talk about today? Well, you know what? I just kind of wanted to talk about Great Lakes Wealth because you've had quite the year uh, amidst all of this tension that's been going on and all the different different things that we've seen, right? And you said this podcast was born out of the pandemic and we're still kind of in it, you know, but tell me about Great Lakes Wealth and everything that you've managed to accomplish and your team. Well, sure. Thanks for asking. So Great Lakes Wealth is a registered investment advisory firm. We are headquartered here in Northville, Michigan, but we have clients in over 20 states across the country and we are SEC registered. We are actually duly registered. So we are a full service firm. Our sweet spot for our clients are what we call the emerging affluent and those that would have maybe between 500,000 and 5 million to invest. Um, If you have less than that, we certainly want to help you and whether it's through this podcast or coming on in and talking to us. Um, And if you have more than that, the same thing. We certainly have a breadth of resources. um, But as a member of our community, uh, we are almost at our sixth anniversary. We opened our doors back in July of 2016. We're coming up on July of 2022. So we've been blessed. We started with three employees. We're up to 10 plus employees now. Um, we've had kind of double digit growth um, in every you know category, whether that's um, 
assets that we manage, um, revenues, um, our employee count. We actually were plus one during the year of COVID, and we've been plus two or plus three since then. We say we're just getting started. Mm -hmm. We have so much more to go, but uh, from where we did start, uh, we're heading in the right direction. We really appreciate our clients. They're our family. Uh, please go to our website, greatlakeswealth.us, to learn more. Check out our YouTube channel to see some of these uh, podcasts, mm -hmm. but also uh, an introduction to each of the members of our amazing team. Uh, when I say double-digit growth, we also we give back double-digit. Mm -hmm. So we've, uh, we have a... Uh, a mission at the firm to give back. The uh, Giving back is an important part of being in a community, and we want to be a leader in that regard. So I am proud to say that since we've been in existence, we've given over $50,000, that's basically $10,000 a year, to uh, local and national charities uh, in cash, in um, in kind. We helped out the frontline workers during COVID with meals and PPE you know, um, equipment. So anyway, we're, uh, we're fired up. We're excited. We are just getting started, but, mm -hmm. uh, uh, year six, this is, uh, the middle of year two of the podcast and we're just <laughs> getting started. Exactly. So as far as you personally, how stressful is this business for you? Stress. Mm. What? My hair's falling <laughs> out. You know, what's going on? Um, no. So I think, uh, everything in life, you have to be able to balance stress and you have to just have a balanced lifestyle. So, um, you know, investing uh, for uh, other people, mm -hmm. it's extremely uh, rewarding, but there's absolutely a lot of responsibility. So uh, we take that responsibility very seriously. It's certainly not just me. It's our entire team here. Um, founding this firm puts a little bit extra pressure on me. But again, it takes a village. And our team here at Great Lakes Wealth, I would say is the best in the business. And I don't say that lightly. You know, the acronym team for us is together, everyone achieves more. And we certainly uh, talk about that daily around here. Our clients are um, our mission, mm -hmm. but our employees are our family as well. So we, uh, we come to work every day and uh, some days are stressful, some days are stress-free. But again, life is balanced. Um, so make sure that you are um, you know, having a healthy lifestyle. And uh, you know, I guess that's a good answer, right? Yeah, for sure. Tell me a little bit about your team. Sure. So uh, I'm proud to talk about our team, mm -hmm. our director of operations, and she's also our chief compliance officer. She's been with us since day one of us being open. And that's Carmela Easton. Um, she's joined in the operations department by our operations associate. That's Sandra Johnson. Uh, we also have a senior wealth advisor. He's been with us almost since we've been open, and that's Bruce Palin. He, uh, besides being a senior wealth advisor here at the firm. He's also an income and options uh, strategist. So uh, when anyone needs um, some specific income strategies or has you know options questions, um, he's kind of our leader there, which is great. We have a CFP on board. He's also an enrolled agent with the IRS. He's our uh, financial planner. His name is Matt Stoikoff. And uh, again, if you fail to plan, mm -hmm. what, what do you do? You plan to fail. You plan to fail. So a lot of what we start with around here is with Matt and putting a good plan together for our clients. Uh, we have another financial advisor. His name is Tom Griffor. Um, he is our cash management specialist amongst his other duties. Um, he's a member of the local community. And uh, Tom is just doing a phenomenal job serving our clients. Uh, we have another financial advisor named Zoe Beck. Uh, Zoe is, again, she is our insurance specialist. She uh, has over 10 years experience in the business and uh, she focuses kind of on, on women's needs as well as um, other needs of, um, you know, the community. So uh, we're happy to have Zoe on board as well. Uh, we also have Taylor Scotty. Mm -hmm. Taylor is my uh, right-hand gal. <laughs> she is our marketing coordinator. She also kind of does all things Great Lakes Wealth. So uh, she's joined us recently, but she is already a seasoned veteran. So when you come to work at Great Lakes Wealth, we have a training uh, program where we just drop you in the pool <laughs> and say, start to swim. <laughs> 
Okay. Right. And then again, the rest of the team is on the sides, and mm-hmm. we have the we have the life preservers, and we have the ropes if you need it. Mm-hmm. But again, we do believe that uh, uh, we want to encourage individuality. We want to encourage people to be independent thinkers. We do have um, a structure here, absolutely. Um, but within that. We, uh, we are um, just amazed and blessed with the team that we have put together. You know, and you're so community driven and by you running down your team, it seems like everyone else is too. So I'm thinking that must be a requirement to work here. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we actually have two, we had two interns that uh, just wrapped up their senior year at Northville High School. So we also, uh, we try to give back to the community by um, allowing uh, the younger generation to come on in and kick the tires and get their, uh, you know, their uh, feet wet, so to speak. So uh, that's being part of the community. Uh, but in addition to that, our clients are not just here. And when we say community, we don't just mean like within a mile of our office. We really mean wherever our clients are or our employees are or anyone who's out there listening or watching this podcast. So community isn't just around the corner. It's kind of everywhere that you are. So uh, we are big believers in our community. Um, Here at our firm, we have a mandate, I'll call it, of giving back on a quarterly basis. So we do two things here. One is we have a quarterly employee event. So we have team building, whatever you want to call it. We try to get out as a team and, uh, again, get rid of some of that stress maybe Mm -hmm. by having a little time together um, to celebrate some of the successes and just uh, kind of, you know, uh, let our hair down, so to speak. And then we also have a quarterly initiative to give back. And so sometimes it's uh, by actually just raising some money and giving it to a worthy cause. Other times it's getting out there. Um, you know, and going uh, to a zoo walk and raising money for the miles that we walk. Maybe it's um, you know joining um, an organization that's just putting things together, boxes of food for those that um, are less fortunate, or whatever the case may be. So sometimes it's. Um, getting dressed up and going to a gala mm-hmm. and celebrating as a team. That's a double dip, actually. <laughs> right? That'll be our quarterly team building. Okay. And it's also giving back, you know. So, uh, yeah, we just try to be uh, more than just an investment firm that takes the money and invests it for you, you know, in pile A or pile B. But um, certainly communication is, um, you know, a very important part of the investing process. But it's also a very important part of the process of being in your community. Hey guys, it's Brooke. I want to take a minute to talk to you about Dewey Stefan and his great team at Great Lakes Wealth. Do you feel overwhelmed managing your assets? Well, Great Lakes Wealth offers Wall Street solutions with Main Street values. That is really what they are all about. They will help you develop a custom financial plan utilizing all of your assets and keeping your goals in mind. That is what Great Lakes Wealth is all about, helping you and your family achieve your financial dreams. So go to greatlakeswealth.us to schedule an appointment today and tell Tell them Brooke sent you. Okay, so if you had one thing you wanted people to know about Great Lakes Wealth, what would it be? Ooh, wow, that's a good one. Um, I think, again, that we are a team, that we are not an individual um, person here. Um, it's not the person that you talk to um, on the phone from operations. It's not just the lead advisor assigned to your account. We truly believe that every member of our team plays a vital role in the relationship and the success that our clients are going to have. So that is the one thing. It's not um, an individual financial advisor firm. This is Great Lakes Wealth, and it's a team approach, and together, everyone achieves more. Excellent. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, well, okay, we're pr- approaching your six, <laughs> so I'm going to even just say, let's say four more years All and right, our 10 year anniversary. 10. Yep. So, um, you know, we had a, a goal from day one, which was to take the current, um, Clients that we worked with, my partner, Michael Hartman, who we talked about in episode one, uh, lost his battle with cancer uh, just after our first year being here at Great Lakes Wealth. And he inspires us every day, six years later, uh, so much of what he brought to the table and taught us as a team back um, and our roots were at UBS prior to here. Um, he taught us so much that we continue you know, through today. And so uh, we started... Phase one was just to offer a place where our current clients, where we were, could come and do business with us here. Our, um, you know, our tagline here is Wall Street Solutions with Main Street Values. Uh, to our clients and the communities we serve, we strive to always say the communities we serve. So with that, um, 
we wanted to just uh, open our doors mm -hmm. and take um, kind of the uh, business plan that we had at our uh, prior firm and implement it here. Uh, maybe with a little bit extra service, a little bit lower fee, um, and that would you know, end up being greater returns, just lower fees equals greater returns, all things being equal, but our access to private investments, our access to non-traditional investments, cash management alternatives, just some amazing things that we were able to, to do here at Great Lakes Well. So uh, phase one was just to uh, kind of get op open the doors and, uh, you know, get up and running mm -hmm. and We've done that, and I'm very proud to have done that. We did that through losing our uh, partner, Michael Hartman. We did that through the f uh, flash crash of 2018, the Q4 tech crash. We did that through COVID, and uh, where we are now through the volatile markets of 2022. And so um, we are at capacity here in this office. We do um, look to um, have other offices throughout uh, Michigan and in the Great Lakes. And then ultimately, uh, we would like to put some satellite offices in some of those other hubs that are current clients. We have current clients in Northern California, Southern California, certainly a lot of snowbirds out there <laughs> from uh, uh, Michigan that go down to Florida. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of business in Florida. Uh, our team travels there as well as Arizona. We certainly go to New York and we go to Chicago to see clients. But Brooke, mm -hmm. and I know I'm talking a lot no, without taking fine. a breath. No. Um, we learned through COVID that technology, you don't have to be in person to um, – have a meeting. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in person to deliver a check to invest. You don't have to be in person to pick up your check to go um, and purchase whatever it is that uh, you want with the money that you've just made. So a lot of it, whether it's uh, money transfers and uh, communications through COVID, uh, we've learned that you can take it to that next level and actually be more efficient of your time, but really your uh, client's time. And you can be respectful um, and uh, be more efficient. So that's kind of cool. That is cool. Okay, I have one more question before we go. You ready? Dun -na -na. <laughs> Dun -na -na. Every podcast, you wear a different color shirt. I'm just curious how many of those you have. <laughs> okay, well, hello. Thank you so much for paying attention today. I have not always worn a, a different color. I have repeated a few, mm -hmm. but I've tried my best not to. And right. fast fact, that's only in the wintertime when I'm wearing long <laughs> sleeves, okay, because I don't have that many. Another fast fact, I've always tried to wear shirts that have the Great Lakes right. Wealth uh, moniker on our shirt. So mm -hmm. that's kind of uh, been exciting for right. me. I'm like, where do I have all these Great Lakes Wealth shirts? <laughs> and then I go to my embroidery guy down the street right. and I'm like oh another eight bucks for a shirt okay <laughs> let's do this um, but there's a fast fact there's I think two episodes maybe mm -hmm. we'll go check maybe that's a little trivia right uh, check this out check out the number of times on the 61 podcast that I have not worn a Great Lakes Wealth shirt mm -hmm. and I will send that winner a Great Lakes Wealth swag bag how about we call it a swag box? Wow. Okay, there right. on the spot. There, there it is. Because I know there's at least one, <laughs> but I think there might be two, and Don't it could it be away. three. Well, again, you're going to have to go and say what episode numbers they were, okay? <laughs> All right. And so you can email that in. You can put that on the comments. Mm -hmm. You can DM me, DM Brooke. Hey. Uh, but there you go. Just on right. the fly. How about that? So, All right. Um, there are a few. I know that I did not wear a Great Lakes Wealth shirt, but... I have more colors, <laughs> just so you know. All right. We'll be waiting. And by the way, I expect that that person would want a uh, What Do We Do mug, too. Right? Yeah, so we're excited. We've got the Great Lakes Wealth on one <laughs> side. We've got the What, what do, do We, we do, do on the other side. We actually have T-shirts. A lot of our friends in the community and our clients know we have T-shirts that say either Great Lakes Wealth on the front or What Do We Do on the front. And on the back, they have a slogan. Another fast fact, mm -hmm. every year that our firm's been open, we've had a slogan of that year. Mm -hmm. So it used to be um, Invest for success, when year it was making you money. Uh, in COVID, this is my favorite, keep calm and booyah. <laughs> right, right. Right. And then last year, it was live your best life. Mm -hmm. This year, um, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Right. So we are um, excited to kind of have these personal touches to the importance of wealth management. And uh, there you go. There it is. Well, thank you so much. It's been 
So much fun interviewing you. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess next time, stay tuned. I will interview uh, Miss Allen. All right. Okay. And we will get back into it on that side. All right. But, awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for the questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate the opportunity for our listeners and our viewers. Uh, this is episode 61. And I hope it was uh, entertaining enough. Yeah, I learned so much about you and uh, your team. Yes, well, thank you. Yes. And we uh, over 30,000 downloads. Yeah, it's awesome. And we're just getting started. All right, you. See ya. <laughs> the opinions expressed in this program are for general information purposes only and are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual or any specific security. It's only intended to provide education about the financial industry. To determine which investments may be appropriate for you, consult your financial advisor prior to investing. Any past performance discussed during this program is no guarantee of future results. Any indices referenced for comparison are unmanaged and cannot be invested into directly. As always, please remember investing involves risks and possible loss of principal capital. Please seek advice from a licensed professional.